Lesson 4, Using Radar to Determine Risk of Collision. Introduction. This lesson introduces you to using the radar to determine risk of collision. Specifically, this lesson addresses the following topics. Contact identification, establishing contact range, establishing contact bearing, and determining risk of collision and corrective action. Understanding how to use the radar to determine risk of collision will increase your ability to navigate a boat safely. While most situations will require you to use radar and visual observations, there may be periods of restricted visibility when you have to rely solely on radar to make navigational decisions. Objectives Upon completion of this lesson, you will be able to identify a moving contact on radar, Use variable range markers and electronic bearing lines to establish contact range and relative bearing. Determine if the contact is a risk of collision. And identify constant bearing, decreasing range. Identifying a moving contact. You can see moving contacts on the radar when a radar echo appears to move at a speed or direction different than other echoes on the radar display. If a contact is stationary on the radar, it has zero velocity and its bearing and range change only in relation to the movement of your boat. Stationary objects, such as day boards, can be distinguished from anchored boats or boats with no way on by comparing the radar picture to your chart and determining if there are any charted objects at the position of the radar contact. Click play to view the animation. Click Play to reset the animation. Click Next to continue. Check on learning. As you navigate Whitehall Bay, you notice a moving contact on the radar. Identify the moving contact on the radar display of the MFD. Select the correct contact. Correct. Click Next to continue. Range to Moving Contact. Establish the range to a moving contact by using the Variable Range Marker, or VRM. The VRM is a display overlay of concentric circles that indicate the range between your boat and other contacts. Once the VRM ring is over the contact, you can read the range from the VRM box. Adjust the VRM until it touches the nearest edge of the contact, and then validate the VRM. Short push the roto key to access soft controls. Rotate and short push the roto key to select VRM. Rotate and short push the roto key to select VRM1. Rotate and short push the roto key to set and validate VRM1 on the moving contact. Click anywhere in the graphic to reset. Click Next to continue.